I was filming a TikTok and a reel and I put some makeup on. I think this is the first video that I actually wear makeup in. How do I look? So dark in my house. Let's go somewhere brighter. So here we go. Hello YouTube, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I wanted to focus of course about fitness, right? So I will show you a clip of my workout at the end of this video, but I wanted to talk about fat loss and not punish yourself for eating too much, for eating too little, for not getting enough protein in that day, for you know maybe missing a workout. Not punishing yourself after doing something wrong is very important to not go down this rabbit hole of messing up, punishing yourself, messing up and punishing yourself. So let's go sit down and let's talk about how to avoid that. Okay, so getting more comfortable and I wanted to talk to you. So yes, I know and I hear a lot of women say, oh, yesterday I ate so horribly, I ate out, I ate fast food, today I will do two workouts to burn those calories. Or, yesterday I ate too much junk food, so today I will eat barely anything to even out what I did. You will not believe how many times I have heard that and I'm still hearing that always even from friends and family about punishment, right? So if you eat out, the next day you don't, you eat 1000 calories. If you skip a workout, the next day you work out twice. Not necessary, should not be happening. Messing up is not even there. It's all in your mind that you did something wrong. And it's not. It is your journey. It is your process. We all go through these emotions of up and down, right? So if you are, let's say, prepping your food for the week, and in the middle of the week, you're like, I don't want this anymore. I want to go out and eat something. And you do. You go out, you eat something, you come back home, the next day you wake up and you see that prepared food for you that you were supposed to eat yesterday, you feel bad. That should never be the case. You should never want to punish yourself for doing something. It doesn't matter if you eat out. It doesn't matter actually what you eat. So yes, this is a video that I wanted to make everything about punishment and how you should not punish yourself. And of course, there's a lot of myths, right? So don't eat after six, don't eat this, that's unhealthy, that's not good for you. But overall, the goal of all of this, if you want to lose fat, gain muscle, change your body shape, change your life overall and your health, there needs to be some kind of balance because if you only eat, let's say, the healthiest food, the greenest foods, <laughs> you know, the leanest foods for a month, I don't know who would even be able to do a month of that without any treats, without any cravings, without any wants of the normal food that we are used to, the normal food that we ate before the fitness journey started or the health journey started. So for me, that is dessert. I have always had a sweet tooth and for me, even making my food sweet, so like sweet oatmeal with cookie butter, that is my life. Like I, if I take it out, I'm miserable and I'm not happy and it, 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 people can see it on my face that it's just, I'm not happy. When mom's not happy, no one's happy, right? <laughs> anyway, so I thought it was important for me to sit down and tell you if you're the kind of person who messes up and the next day kind of goes to the extreme, don't do that. If you feel like you messed up the day before, next day is a fresh start. So try to maybe add more vegetables into your food. Maybe try to have a great devoted workout. 
um and just try to do better the next day it's not about being perfect always it's about consistency so throughout your weeks your months you are consistently working out following a program of some sorts or if you know what you're doing then of course you don't need a program and just being consistent with your food consistent with your food does not mean by no means am I telling you to eat every single day the same foods. No. I know people who do that. It works out for them. Great. If it works for you, amazing. But if I make a meal plan for myself, I will not follow that. I always decide that I want something else to eat. That's why my fitness pal is great. I know how much you're consuming because I know that people have problem. You know, um, women are scared of eating too much. So they eat like 1,200 calories that my actually toddler eats. So, you know, you should eventually try to up those calories to a normal, healthy, muscle gaining 2,000 calories, let's say, right? So I feel like 2,000 calories is like the, the sweet spot of not gaining too much fat, not losing any fat and growing muscle and getting that shape. Okay, so let's go work out now and I will show you a clip of that. Of course, I have other videos where I show my full workout, so go check it out. If you are interested, subscribe, like, and share this video. If you know someone who punishes themselves the next day, so have the best day ever. And don't forget to send them this video. No punishment. Workout, food should not be a punishment of any sort. Do I eat ice cream every single day? Yes. Should I? Well, a lot of people would say no. But yes, I should and I do and I will and I love ice cream and if you like ice cream, eat it. Eat it.